How bad do you want it? What's the price you are willing to pay? If you are spending your time doing work that you hate, you will never win. You can become anything you want to be, but life is gonna ask you one simple question. What price are you willing to pay to get there? Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. What's up, Believe Nation? It's Evan, I believe in you, and this channel is designed to be a part of your daily success routine. So let's start your day off right together, grab your coffee, and sip on today's message. Pay the price. Over to you, Dan Locke. Also, if you want to know what Dan Locke and other successful entrepreneurs have to say about building unstoppable confidence, check out my 254 Confidence Series, where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you a morning video for free to help you build your confidence. The link to join is in the description below. After you practice martial art, you develop this natural self-confidence. Not cockiness, but you develop this natural self-confidence. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up. I remember the first five years when I was building my empire, building my business, the first five years I was working. I did not take a single day off for five years straight. I was working every single day, 12 to 14 hours. I remember there were nights where I actually literally worked to exhaustion and I fell asleep on my desk. That's the price that I pay. While all my friends, they were drinking, partying, watching sports game and, and, and chasing girls, I didn't do any of that. I was focused, I was obsessed because I was willing to pay for the price for success. I was committed to spend a few years doing whatever it takes, doing things that other people are not willing to do, making sacrifices that other people are not willing to make so that I could do what I want to do for the rest of my life. What about you? How bad do you want it? What's the price you are willing to pay? If you are thinking about how many hours you're working and you're frustrated and you're complaining, I think you've lost. Like I think if you are counting down as an entrepreneur, how many more hours to go until the day is over, until you get to go on your vacation, until you know the weekend is here, I think you've lost. Like I genuinely think you've lost. You have to love the work. If you look at, you look at all of the people that I've done profiles on across entrepreneurship, athletics, singing, everybody, they love the work. You have to love the process, not just the results. It's why you have to love it so much to put through all the crap, all the negativity, all the burnout, all of the stuff that happens to you as an entrepreneur. You have to deal with it. And the only thing that gets you through is you love it. I love making videos. I'm here in Albuquerque. Nina's getting her nails done. Danny's getting his, his phone charged in the car. And I'm making videos because I love making videos because I can't wait to make videos. I've done 6,000 plus videos on my channel and I can't wait to make more. I love it. I love the process. I love helping entrepreneurs. I love the result and I love the process. And yes, that can cause personal issues. That can cause health breakdowns. That can cause you to get stressed out. That can cause you to push beyond your limits. That can cause you health issues it can relationship issues it can and it does for so many entrepreneurs and yes you need to guard for that you need to watch for that you need to be able to create an intentional life not just working 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 all the time and then you die but you need to love the work you need to love the process it's not painful to do it saying pay the price it's not painful to pay the price for you stepping into my schedule and making six thousand videos you might think is really painful for me it's not like, I love it. It's great. It's amazing. And that should be the same thing in your business. People who say it say, well, I'll do whatever it takes. No, you won't. You won't do whatever it takes. Because as soon as it starts getting really hard, you're going to quit. Where somebody who actually loves that thing will keep going. Because they love it and you don't. And whenever you're up against somebody who loves the work and you don't, they will destroy you. Even if you have more natural talent, they will destroy you. Because they love the work and you don't. It makes all the difference in the world. And so you gotta go find the thing that you love. You gotta find the things that other people would find torture. Jerry Soundfeld calls it the torture you can endure. It should be torture. Somebody else should step into your schedule and feel like it's torture. But for you, you love it. It brings you up, it makes you come alive. You love doing that work. Now, before you start thinking this is a recipe for burnout and disaster, and it is for a lot of people, you need to have an intentional life. I believe you need to have an intentional life so what does an ideal life look like for you where you're doing work that you enjoy, where you're spending time with your husband or wife or kids or parents or friends, whatever you need out of life, 
Sit down and create a calendar. Create your calendar from Sunday to Sunday and chunk your time and block off time to say, this is my work time. And this is my time with my family. And this is my time doing my hobbies. And this is my time with my wife. And this is my time with my kids. And I'm not here to judge how much time you want to spend with your kids versus your wife versus your business versus your parents. And that'll shift as your priorities change as you get older and life happens. And that's okay. What I'm saying is for the time that you're working, if it's 20 hours a week, if it's 40 hours a week, if it's 100 hours a week, whatever time you're working, you're spending on your business, you need to be doing work that net you love. You may not love every single second of every single day. You may have to do a lot of work that you don't enjoy, but net overall, you love the process. If you are sitting here looking at your work, looking at your business, looking at your schedule and dreading what's coming up and counting down the hours until the weekend, you've already lost. Get out of that business and go find something else because if you are spending your time doing work that you hate, you will never win. And you have Michael Jordan level talent at something and you need to find it, embrace it, and use it to change the world for the better. Now I've got a really special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that question of the day, I wanna know, do you love the process of your business? Do you love it? Do you love it? Love it? Let me know. Let me feel your energy. Put it in the comments below. And if you're not feeling it, be honest. That's amazing. That self-awareness is going to kick you up to the next level. Let me know in the comments. Whatever your skill set is now, whatever your vision of yourself is now, you can change it. You can become anything you want to be. But life is going to ask you one simple question. What price are you willing to pay to get there? And that's it. That's the hard truth. If you're willing to pay the price, then you can become whatever you want. You can become truly capable of the extraordinary. But you've got to go through the process of building that skill set. You've got to be willing to stare nakedly at your inadequacies to understand that you aren't yet the person that you want to be or need to be to execute against your goals, but that you can become that person and then start walking down that path. And day by day, brick by brick, build the skill set that you want. Before you start getting all, oh, God damn, dude. Look, this is stupid. These cars that you're seeing people buy, I think 50 Cent got six of them for Christmas or something. I got my wife a Cullinan and I got myself this. This is ridiculous. You don't need to go out and buy these cars, okay? This is, without a doubt, complete waste of money. And unlike, unlike some of the people that are out buying them, because there's a lot of young kids right now thinking, oh, I'm going to go buy a Lambo. I'm going to get a Ferrari. I'm going to go buy me a Rolls. I watched a 24-year-old kid buy a Rolls Royce. I'm like, man, that don't even look good on you, even if you can't afford it. Completely ridiculous, but years, 35 years of hard work. Not just hard work, but making good decisions and putting the money away. Putting the money away and not doing this kind of stuff. Put all this stuff off. Don't do this right now, okay? Pay the price right now. Work hard, get great at your job, get great at whatever you do. So good that, that people are like, man, you're the best. Well, who are you? What do you want? They start asking questions about, wow, what makes you so unique? Then you're going to start getting paid more. There's no way on this planet that if, if, people don't, if people start talking about how exceptional you are, you will get paid more at some point. When you do, take that money and invest it in something where you can't lose it, where it pays you every month, and one day in the future, it'll be worth more than it is today. Do that for years. It might take 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I'm just starting to enjoy my life. A lot of hard work, man. Hi, this is Dan Locke. If you're a fan of Evan's work, if you want to know exactly how to model my success, I want to invite you to join me for a special online training. All you have to do is click on the link below. You can join me for absolutely no charge. So click on the link below and I will see you in class. And if you want more Dan Locke, check out the top 50 rules video I made on him. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. The more you try to chase the money, I want to make the money, I want to make the money. You can see these people, they're so desperate. They don't make money. You don't make money.